1948 Traveler All American 5 5 tube AM radio. In this video, we're going to get the radio working. You always want to get a vintage radio like this working before you do a bulk recap. Those that just like to recap and then see the see it not work and get discouraged and throw it in the trash well that's not the way to go about it get it working first then do your recap replacement of resistors tubes whatever I created this video a week ago and there's been a little bit of a branding change to a call you hear often on this channel when I work on vintage radio so listen close I'm also there to Rosemead and then out in Malibu, we've got a two hour delay to the Malibu Middle School as well as Malibu High School. Their start time will be 1030. This is all due to a deadly crash on Pacific Coast Highway right around Bush Drive. So southbound side of PCH is closed at Morning View and northbound PCH is closed at Heathercliff. Our next report is at 845 with more traffic reports more often from the Point Hill Hills Hyundai 24 hour traffic center. KNX News 971 FM. 837, word coming out that uh, New York's Attorney General is is going to subpoena former President Trump to testify in a fraud investigation. This has to do with his business practices. More on that as we get it. FDA this morning has cleared an extra dose of the uh, COVID vaccine for kids ages 16 and 17. Right now, we're at 18 and above. FDA this morning has cleared an extra dose of the COVID vaccine for kids ages 16 and 17. Because right now, you know, it's 18 and above. So the FDA says 16 and 17, you can get that booster. However, they always wait for the CDC to sign off on it and recommend it and uh, still looking into... So KVAX has gone FM. So we do have our fifth confirmed case of the Omicron. And I'm going to include two links in the description of this video. One of them is the LA Times article where they outline why they did this. The other one is someone who actually recorded the on-air changeover which is pretty interesting later in the video i talk about making an adapter socket basically to adapt the modern five tube miniature tubes to these loctals this is my adapter right here, and the way you make these adapters is you just get the tube data sheets and just figure it out. Now on 97.1 FM, 1070 AM, and on the Odyssey app. Southern California's only 24-hour local news and traffic station. KNX News, 97.1 FM. Depend on us. Good morning, I'm Dick Helton. And I'm Vicki Moore, coming up on KNX News, 97.1 FM. To see those here uh, as we head through the midday hours. See, there's the stereo the carrier. Trend, middle to late afternoon and into the evening hours. A bit breezy and even windy at times here through and the afternoon. As it I has trouble producer, decoding. The... As well. Temperatures are uh, well below average. From Glendale to Santa Ana, from downtown to Irvine, the news has never been clearer. Southern California's only 24-hour local news and traffic station is now on FM. KNX News, 971 FM. Depend on us. 944, good morning, I'm Dick Helton. And I'm Vicki Moore, coming up on KNX News, 971 FM. Rapper Travis Scott speaking in public for the first time about the Astro World concert tragedy. I'm Bloomberg's Tom Busby, a major benefactor's name getting wiped out from a famous art museum. I'll tell you why. Let's take a look at the socket adapter I made. Uh, the pins on the pins are 16 gauge wire on loctal tubes so that's it you just you can adapt a lot of these tubes to each other they're all the same electrically they're just physical different sizes as tubes evolved which I'll cover in the actual diagnostic part of this video coming right now Traveler 5 tube AM radio All American 5 
I thought it'd be fun just to resurrect this. Haven't done a tube radio in a while. And I dug up the schematic on it or something close, as close as I could get. There is no model number on it. It is Loctal based, which if you follow my videos, you know that I absolutely just love Loctal tubes. I just can't get enough. This is all Loctal. The schematic I found, everything is the same except the audio output tube. Uh, no model number on this. It has been licensed uh, by RCA, which I'll try and cover that a little bit. Power cord looks like it's in excellent condition. Actually, it's been spliced there. I, maybe not. Anyway, we're going to resurrect this. We're going to do what we can to get it going. Um, I'm going to start by gluing the speaker. The speaker has a big gash in it. Uh, right here you can see it. And I have some actual speaker reconing glue that comes with a reconing kit. First thing I want to do is actually just test the speaker to make sure that I'm not gluing something dead back together. So this is real quick and dirty. What I did is I followed the two secondary wires that come from the transformer on top of the speaker. They come down here. I followed them and I attached a clip lead onto each one. Uh, you could probably do this with a 9 volt battery. I'm just going to use my little pack here that I love so much. And we'll just see if we get any noise. These are 3.3 volts per cell. Go to six volts. So that tells us that the audio output transformer and the speaker are good. And good is a relative term. We don't know if the speaker is going to rattle or grind or what. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this and then give it half a day to dry. And we'll come back and try and make it work. It might just work. Okay, well, we are not going to win any awards with this, but it is the right type of glue. And uh, we'll, we'll give it several hours, and we'll come back to this this afternoon and try and get it to work. This is the RCA receiving tube manual. And... Um, In the back of it are all the general schematics and that I guess were licensed from RCA. And here's your All-American 5 tube radio. And pretty much, I mean, these tubes were either made in miniature, or Loctal, or Octal, and you know, 12SQ7, 50L6. Uh, so it's it's the same circuit um, pretty much I was looking at let's see this is very interesting um, you probably pause that and read that if you're curious marble dust mercury methanol Mica, mish metal, molybdenum, natural gas, neon, nickel, nickel chloride, nickel oxide, nickel sulfate, nickel a ni nitric acid. I can't even, I don't even know some of these words just by looking at them, but wood fiber, xenon, zinc. Zychronium hydride. Who would have thought it would take so much to make a tube? There must be a hundred mined minerals in here.
<laughs> that's that's a number almost hard to comprehend, isn't it? Bulb inspected under polarized light for strains. I told you they were vacuum bulbs. So this radio we're looking at uses a 50A5, and you read under 50A5 it says, you know, for ratings, uh, refer to glass octal type 50L6. So it's the same as a 50L6, it's just it's in a glass lock-in type. So, and then you come over here to 50L6, and it says refer to 50C5. So see 50A5, 50L6, and 50C5 are basically all the same. So as the as tubes evolved, they got smaller, but they stayed pretty much the same electrically as the older ones. So you could you could make an adapter and substitute a 50C5 for a 50A5. And of course the 50B5 is the same, but the 50B5 used a different base. It says the basing arrangement of the 50C5 simplifies the problems of meeting underwriters' laboratories' requirements in the design of ACDC receivers. I guess there was something with two pins were too close together, or something dangerous and deadly and going to destroy the entire world with the 50B5. If I was going to recommend a piece of vintage tube equipment for a newbie to start on to get their feet wet, this would almost be it. This, with the exception of using octal tubes, not loctal, or miniature, but these are the style IF transformers you want with the two tuning capacitor screws because these don't have silver mica. These will not de ever develop silver mica disease. These IF transformers should last forever. Um, and this is very simple. There's a billion videos on how to fix these. The schematics are, like I said, they're generic and easily available. There's our speaker. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? I mean, that's legit speaker glue. A lot of talking in this video. So anyway, we start with our sort of just overview here, looking at it, analysis. And I gotta say, it looks totally virgin. I don't see any modifications here. It looks like this capacitor has failed. The end of it's popped out. But all those get changed anyway in a actual restoration or, you know, full repair, restore, whatever. I'm going to just do whatever it takes to get it working, just to see it work. And the filter capacitor would need to be changed. In this case, this looks like the original filter capacitor. I look at the... Yeah, this is all original. We could spot check the resistors before we even try and power it up. That's a good thing. 3.3 meg, 3.4 meg, that's totally good. 47K, measuring 76K, that's a little bit out of spec, isn't it? Will it stop the radio from working? No. It might, that might slightly perfect, affect the, perf perfect the affordance. 470k measuring 657 0.657 megs or 657k red black green 2 megs measuring 2.1 megs interesting that the higher values are closer tolerance brown green brown 150 ohms eh, it's only gone up a hundred a hundred ohms that one looks like one or two watts it's a bigger one it's only it's not far off 114 
2.2K or 2,200 ohms measuring 24 so it's only a few hundred ohms over 33 ohms that's probably for the little dial light measuring 38 and looking at this does look like it was worked on if you see that solder blob there and there so let's see what pins that's connected to pin 5 and between pin 5 and 6 of the 6A 50A5 so pin 5 is a non-conductor pin 6 is G1 so this is G2 right here the red wire is connected so that comes up through a 470 to the plate of the detector first audio tube then this is the coupling capacitor back to G1 so why the hell would somebody put a hundred ohm resistor in there's absolutely no reason for that so they essentially install cut this line right here see here's your 470 this C12 is this capacitor right here and then they put a resistor right they cut this line right here and put a hundred ohm resistor there's absolutely no point for that what there should be is there should be a resistor going to ground and this should be a pretty high value let's see that's just to keep this at zero volts um, R9 470k half watt so where did that resistor go out of here this should be connected directly to here and then there should be a resistor going from here to ground unless this is ground and this radio doesn't work this is the writer's manual and these are all available off the nostalgia or website if you're just getting started in this and this is what I found that was as close as possible which was one of these like the T501 because this uses all the loctal tubes except it uses a 50L6 instead of a 50A5 so exactly they're just using the RCA schematic here CC3 which is this one and then there should be a resistor going to ground C3 or R3 which R3 is a half a meg so the same the RCA manual is 470k let's see what they call for R2 one meg so they're calling for a little bit different values than uh, the RCA book. So if you're ever resurrecting one of these radios, there's a few of these capacitors you really have to get rid of immediately. And this is one of them. Because if this is leaky, it will cause that tube to self-destruct. And I, that 470K to ground, that will cause the tube to destruct too if there's any kind of internal leakage in the tube the G1 will float up and it'll bias itself on so I don't understand what happened and I wonder what this one is this looks like it's connected to the volume control and then to the let's see okay well this looks quite different from both the RCA and this so I don't know if this is this is the only traveler I could find that use loctal tubes let's check the ESR on the original electrolytic capacitor this should be good so let's see okay so we get contact there so this let's see the yellowish wire that would be to here absolutely nothing and then the red wire would be to down here yeah 
about 40 ohms, totally dead. So the electrolytic's dead. I'm gonna make a little bit more of an attempt to find the right schematic on this, just because of the educational intention of this video. Okay, I found this radio. This is a model 5051, and it's in volume 17, which I don't believe I have paperback. I have these uh, CDs, which you can buy. Um, they're also available on Nostalgia Air, and the issue with these is, is the resolution that these were compressed at absolutely suck. These suck. That's why I like the hard, hard paper. Um, I'm currently downloading or uploading or whatever loading all of these onto my phone, onto the SD card on the phone. So I don't think I go up to volume 17 with paper. I'm going to take a look. Now that I know it's a 5051, I found the Beatman's and I extracted it from a deja vu. Um, so let's take a look at the difference in the resolution here. So this has our two resistors right here, R8 and R10. Okay, what am I missing here? Uh, let's take a look at the resolution of the riders off the CD. Okay, so SD card, then riders, and I literally put all of them in here. So we want to go to 17... And then we want to go way down here. Let me find it. Okay, here's the rider version of it. Eh. I mean, I guess. On this one, it's R looks like R8 and R10 is it the same schematic with oh, its low resolution look at that can we even read the okay this is definitely the right schematic because it's I finally found R10 3.3 meg um, kind of doing all the research here ahead of time. Okay, so enough of all that. So, again, this is the same. So R2 and R2, those must be the same value. So that's what I said. Uh, we got the 470K here. This should not be here. This should be connected directly to there and then a 470K to ground. Anyway, let's. We know the filter capacitors uh, bad. I hope this audio output tube is not damaged from not having the resistor to pull the G1 voltage, DC voltage to ground. Okay, let's power it up. I am not going to use an isolation transformer. Uh, I don't. I'm not worried about getting shocked. I think that's the least of my worries at this point in the game. Um, okay, that's, I got, I'm limited here through a 25 watt light bulb. And I got nothing. Oh, I hate these tubes. I'm wiggling them around. Trying to see if the light bulb's gonna come on. Okay. Measuring across the line cord in the radio, I have 122 volts. Let's make sure the switch is working. I got 122 volts. I'm gonna turn the switch off. So obviously the switch is working. Um, so we have an open tube filament 
or a crappy tube socket. Kind of just following this through, I'm assuming that this multicolored thing here is the uh, uh, filament lead. So I'm just kind of following it through. I'll tell you when I find the open. I'm on the other side of the 50A5 and I still have 120 volts. Let's go here to this tube. I have 100, oh, what? 122 there. And I guess it's going to exit right here. I have nothing there. So if that's true, because I'm on AC volts, if I take this and move it to the other side of the line cord, we should have 120 volts. So this is the tube that's open right here. The filament in this tube is open. I could do the same thing by just measuring across, across the uh, filament and I have 120 volts. Crap. I don't have many of these Loctals. Man, I hate these things. You just never know if it's the socket or the tube. Why is the filament failed in an IF tube? And yep, according to this, on ohms, this filament is open. 14A7 is what that bad tube is, which is the same as a 12SK7. So the miniature replacement for that is a 12BA6. Very frustrating. According to my spreadsheets, there should be a 14A7 in here. Uh, these are tubes that somebody donated to the channel. And what I do when I get these, I make spreadsheets out of them. Uh, let's see, 14A7. There should be two of them in here. Okay, now I just gotta find them. Seven V seven. God, I hate to almost open these Zena tubes. These are like a one LH four. All right, let me look through here. Look at all this beautiful old elegant packaging. Look at that. And some of them are sealed in like cans. Look at this. You open this thing like a, you rip it, you rip the, pull the string right there, see? Pull the string to rip it open. You know, just the damn packaging is beautiful. So anyway, here are the two 14A7s. We have a CBS, which looks like it was maybe made by Sylvania. I don't know. We have a Zenith here. It looks like it has a different number tube inside there. Look at how these boxes open. This is a 12B7 that's in here. If you so much as touch that, it'll rub off. I This doesn't look like it's ever been screwed with. So is 12B7 the same as 14A7? Okay, 12B7, 14A7, same thing. And I opened the CBS 14A7. It's got the wrong damn thing stuffed in it. I don't want to sacrifice that new Zenith tube. Okay, I found one. Greylock. Here we go. More like built out of war surplus. Oop. There we go. Yeah, I think they these Loctal tubes were largely war surplus, and, and they had a ton of them after the war, so they built radios out of them to save money. They could probably get them for...
practically nothing. The bulb is getting dimmer. We know we have no filter capacitors here. Um, but we should still get some hum or something unless the... Oh, there we go. I would assume that's K and X we're hearing there. Okay, so let's get some clip leads. We got capacitors right here. Let's just find some capacitors and add them in there. Here are a couple 47 at 450 volt. Let's just do this live. Okay, we'll try and do this one-handed. So, this is ground right here. So we'll connect that to these two. Guess I could get a tripod, right? That would make my life easier. Okay, that's ground. And we got one here. We'll connect that to this one. That's kind of a cool effect. I don't think I've ever heard that out of a tube radio before. Then we'll connect the other one right here. Let's see, this is the other side of the resistor. And that made her as quiet as she could get. Wow, what the hell? Thought this thing was going to be easy. Okay. See what our. I mean, we're still on the light bulb here. I'm not worried about anything because the light bulb will save us from my stupidity, my carelessness. Let's see, on this one we have 46 volts. On this one we have 32 volts. That's probably not enough to make any kind of happy with this. Oh, wait a minute. I think I... Why KNX is coming in on 1600? That's pretty good. I'm going to go up to an industrial grade bulb here. Let's see. We'll go from 25 to 68 watts. I don't have a 40. But uh
Okay, now we need we only only got 85 volts. That's low. On your way around the bend to the southbound 110, north 110. Boy, this one will wake you up. From Martin Luther King Jr. up to downtown, 11th Street, 6th Street, all the way up to the front. Southbound Hollywood Freeway. Boy, it just it just wants to slow down. Okay, that could be a problem. Southbound 101 Hollywood Way, uh, Hollywood Boulevard. That being broken off could, could be a problem. It's in retirement. Are they? Report at the extends its lead to 31 to 17. 13 minutes to go. Amazing how it works when it's got the uh, antenna hooked up, doesn't it? It's amazing how that works. It's something's way off. Oh. That's what's off. Knocked him back onto the right tackle. Weird how it does that. Dial cord is slipping. Amazing. The alignment's actually dead on on one of these. Usually they're always way off. It's weird how they somehow they, it wakes up and the gain. A couple times it popped in and was super loud. Trying up another bad tube. I think the, uh, the AVC is over crimping. Could be those bad resistors. Uh, 
Is this a bad volume control? Is that what this gain issue? Is this thing shorted to ground? Maybe the volume control just needs to be cleaned. Okay, let me spray that. Okay, this volume control is sealed. So what I'm going to do, this usually works, is just put a couple drops of this on the shaft. That's more than a couple drops. And if you let it sit overnight, it'll work its way down in there. See how this stuff just keeps spreading out? This stuff is pretty intrusive. You can see it's already fixing it, and I didn't even spray it inside. I just... So I'll let that sit for a while. Okay, that made a big difference. I sprayed that, let it get down in there for a while, and then I lubricated just a drop on the three bearings here. There's what used to be LA Oldies. U.S. Attorney's Office spokesperson Kieran McAvoy tells KNX Suarez has done this before. Okay, let's see what the voltage is on that uh, grid of that tube. Look at this, we have nine volts on the control grid. That tube has got to be baked, baked. This Duracell uh, paper capacitor is getting warm. Probably getting ready to short and blow the audio output transformer primary winding apart. It's a good thing I'm on my light bulb here. <laughs> I got vaccinated. <laughs> out across Fridays and Saturdays at different parks through December 18th. Mark Here's a 470K. I'm going to touch this to ground. And we go down to 1 volt. Remove it. We go up to 10 volts. Now, of course, this capacitor is leaky. And it gets louder when you do that, too. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the cathode. Let's see what the cathode is here. The cathode resistor had gone way up in value, if I remember. It had gone from 150 to 250. So we got 11 volts on the cathode. Let's pull this... So it goes down to 6 volts. So see what I mean? That's just current you're driving through the tube and the audio output transformer. I bet you the B plus actually goes up too. So the light bulb, when I touch a resistor, the, the light bulb gets dimmer. I can't see that. Let's see what the B plus does. Eighty-seven volts. I'm going to touch our resistor here. Goes up to a hundred and three volts. Goes up almost 20 volts, the B+. I don't know 
what idiot did that, put a 100 ohm resistor in there and took the 470K out? I don't know why anyone would do that. You're just pulling a whole bunch of current through that tube. It does absolutely no good at all. And the wizard oh, says... The parents of a 15-year-old teen accused of killing four students and injuring six others and a teacher at a Detroit area high school on Tuesday pleaded not guilty to involuntary manslaughter. Bail was set at $500,000 each for James and Jennifer Crumbly. Correspondent Michael... I got a question. Whatever happened to the whole thing about that guy that drove that red Ford Explorer or whatever that was through that crowd of people? We, don't, we didn't hear much about that. Once they found out what, what it was about, they just took that out of the news. Like, we can't report that. That's not politically correct. I took the 100 ohm out, which was just tacked in there, and I changed it with a disk capacitor, so I have a disk capacitor in series with the original capacitor. And you can see on this side, the leaky capacitor, we have 21 volts. On this side, the tube, we have like 0.2. And when I get the resistor in there, it'll go down to zero, just like it should. See what we got here. We got 7 volts on the cathode. Yeah, we need the... We need the, uh, because just the meter will act as a, a resistor. Against it as well. Many of the families here live in areas hit hard by the virus because there are a lot of essential workers at multi-generational households. Reporting from Koreatown, Emily Valdez, KNX 1070 News Radio. Hey, small business owners in Burbank are having a free. All right, we have a new 470K installed. We have... 0 0.02 volts on the grid. We have or even a real estate investor on the cathode. make approval seem impossible, especially if you're self-employed. Seven volts on the cathode. That seems pretty good. That would sort of indicate the tube is good. And the B plus is okay. We have 124 volts on the B plus. 124 volts B plus and on the secondary 94 volts. That's decent. That looks good. And counterfeit handbags and purses have been seized at the port of LA before they could be put on sale on the internet. Okay. The radio is now ready to be restored. The, the radio is now ready for the standard recap, change the bad resistors, and alignment. There must be a, a thousand, hundred thousand videos on how to do that. I'm not going to cover that. I'm just resurrecting it, getting it ready to be restored. Using a broom and not a hose to clean off driveways and sidewalks. There's uh, what was LA Oldies. It's uh, K Mozart now. It sounds good, nice and loud, good sensitive radio. Kayla put in front of me. The pain is, is very real. You're not peaceably. To focus on others. Things in beach. Uh, so count on it being changed. So there you go. 